Letty got the job. Uh, he'd been in Cleveland, and he got the job, the head coaching job in Portland. And um, it was very attractive at that time because they had just drafted Bill Walton, and who was the best player in the country by far. Uh, and uh, so Lenny convinced me, actually. He, he needed a, a, an assistant coach. And um, this is just, I've, you know, I've never talked to Lenny in length about this, but I always thought that one of the reasons he wanted me as a, an assistant was that Bill Walton was a very political guy. Uh, he was very wrapped up in the anti-war movement and the anti-Vietnam War movement. He was very literate. He, uh, and I think, and I, I'm, I'm very, uh, I was very, I'm politically very left and uh, what you would call a progressive Democrat. And I think at that time, uh, Lenny was not only interested with me, uh, in me as a assistant coach, but also as a conduit as some way to connect with Bill Walton and his political beliefs and his his social and cultural beliefs, which I shared a lot with Bill. So I think I was also, I think Lenny looked at me as sort of the in-between, the in-between guy between the coaching staff and the, you know, the, the administration and Bill Walton, who was sort of out there, and I don't think they knew what to make of him. And because uh, you know, he had a beard and he was... Uh, you know, he was always in all of these anti-war rallies, and I think that, uh, you know, he was uh, definitely on the FBI list, uh, Bill was, and and so they didn't know what to make of him. I think I was supposed to be there to, to kind of ease the tension between him and administration. <laughs> 